It doesn't get better for us today. I hate playing against Lizardmen, unfortunately. And we get 1920 Lizardmen. Come on. Game, just, just have some heart. Let me survive here. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait and see what his con team consists of, but I do not think that we're pretty. Without actually having seen the team already, here, historically I've always been fairly bad against Lizardmen. And we are missing a lot of players, we get 350k in inducements again. I really would have liked to play in a match that was somewhat on eye level. But let's see, so he's got three rerolls, one cheerleader, one coach assistance. He's got a block pro crux, that's real good. A wrestle tackle break tackle saurus, interesting. Not a bad choice necessarily. A plus movement block, uh, guard mighty blow block, sidestep diving tackle, sneaky git, agility, f two agility four ones. Two more block Sora. yeah this is pretty evenly built. That's gonna be interesting. By this, we can't really go for a bribe. So we probably go vape, vape, and apothecary again, I think, with this. Just try to keep our team as safe as possible with this. We'll have to wait and see. Also, since I don't have a bench, we need the babes and, uh, and the ap apothecary to make sure that we can keep players in there. Uh, once we lose a bunch, but yeah. Oh well. Hello, green screen, could you please not have an issue with my white t-shirt, please? That would be nice. Thank you. So, what is this going to be? I really don't know. We are gonna go on defense. Yeah, I still want to kick against these guys, I think. And let's see, we set up in defense first as well, so we do all this. And let's see, how do we set this up overall? We are probably going to be able to hide one of these guys, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, I can switch these around and then we also put him in the middle. Like so. So wait, we do this, I think. Wait, yeah, so we've got a blocker there, we've got a block guy there. And... Yeah, there we go. So, let's do better than the last match. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to, because this team is pretty difficult to, to beat, I think. And my best way of beating this would be to destroy the Skinks. The issue is the guy that I have to destroy Skinks is also missing the match. So there's that, which means now probably Alphatron is going to become our most important player here. As he has Tackle, and he's the only guy that I have with Tackle, and all the Skinks have Dodge. And Sidestep. And Diving Tackle, so dodging away is going to be difficult. Ball ha usually... Saurai, uh, the Saurus team suffer from, from a little bit of ball handling issues because they've only got agility 3 stunty players. But him having 2 agility 4 players basically negates that, pretty much. He's also got um, diving catch, I think. No, kickoff return. Whoops, yeah. So he gets to reposition. Oh god, a pitch invasion. Okay, it hit him way worse than me. It especially hit the guy that was supposed to pick up the ball. So this is actually pretty good for us. It tanks his offense quite severely right now. God damn, did we get lucky there. This is just pretty random. It's a 5 plus roll for him and a 6 plus roll for me. Wait, is this fame related as well? Do I have the fame and he does not? He's got... No, I've got plus 1 fame, yeah, so that's probably why it's a 6 plus for me, I assume. So he had a better chance of getting knocked down there than I did, um, luckily. So only three of mine went down. And let's see. So he lost his mighty blow for now. The question is, can we 
abuse that. Okay, he tries to go for a, a croc split right away. He failed that one though, so pro is pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, you missed the interesting thing, Punk. So in Blood Bowl, whenever the ball gets kicked off, there's a kickoff event. And one of the kickoff events is called a pitch invasion, which is what just happened here. So for every player, a dice gets rolled. And if, in his case, a 6 plus, in my case, a 5 plus, because I had 1 plus fame, I assume, that might have been the design factor here, the player just gets stunned for the turn. So he, yeah, he needs to move him back. Does he actually not move him back further? Why? Okay, I mean, uh, we need to move him through. He's gonna be able to stand up in a moment, so I can't ignore my defense completely here, which is probably why he's playing it as defensively as he is right now, but we do still need to go for some sort of offense here. Ooh, if we knock him down instead of this guy, I could... No, okay. We can't get next to the ball. Doesn't matter what I do there. So we put him right here, though, so that the Saurai can't move. Yeah. So we probably aim for the Agility 4 guy. But if we don't knock him down, it's going to be a problem. We also possibly want to GFI this, but I'm not sure about that yet. So let's see. We've got him right there, so... We want some safety as well, basically. He's... Oh, he's really stupid as well, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay, good. Okay, so we blitz first, but please just let me get this. We need to knock him down, unfortunately. He's got diving tackle and sidestep, which means I can't just push him. We need to knock him down so that I can keep moving once he's down. But this also means now I need to do a GFI to get away from him. And I instantly roll the one. I'm so mad today. It's not okay anymore. I am till I'm getting mad at myself so much. But also at the dice at this point. My god, again? I mean, we've got the good start here, yes, but can the game just not for once let me actually build on that? <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm... I'm gonna stop now, again. <sighs> so I can't pressure the ball, at least not really, because we can't dodge away here, because he's got diving tackle. I couldn't really pressure him more, because that would be mean giving up my defense completely, so this was my guy to, sc to threaten him with. And we just tank that instantly. Come on. <sighs> this is such an atypical day for me with Blood Bowl. And I really don't understand what's going on, why I'm struggling so much. I mean, we're still okay, but I've already lost the reroll here. He is down for the count right now. Um, so... I don't really know how to... Ex what, what exactly do you mean, Punk, with the difference of this big guy? So, that it's the Croxigore, it's the, the, the Lizardman big guy. He's one of the better ones in the game, I think. Oh, and of course he moves him up there, so now I also have to worry about the Prehensile Tail. So this is a 4-plus dodge? My god. Yeah, this is so bad. This is the worst way this could have happened. If I had at least been standing, he couldn't have gotten this guy where he is now because he would have needed to dodge past me. He knocked down the guy that we had there, and he's diving tackle anyways. Uh, this is so bad. He makes the pickup. The big question is, is a lightning bolt now the way to play this? Probably not. Which is pretty bad. So I don't know quite what to do here, to be honest, with this right now. It's very weird and I can't block these guys because they're strength 4, because they're... Because they are Lizardmen. He's also got a guard guide there. Uh, guard guy, not guard guide, of course, there. We do at least get a stun here, so that's nice. Can we... I can get a player next to him. 
Assuming that's worth it, which it might be. But I'm not 100% on that one yet. And we are also still... On a one assist. Now we've got a one die here, correct? With him. Yeah, so if we bring him in... That turns into a two die. He is just going to stay back here for defense because we can't get the assist that we need there anyways. There we go. We knock him down. Thank you. We are going to stay there. Which will help. And then I think, because it might put us in a little bit of a worse position, yes, but now he either needs to block or dodge me away. Uh, block or dodge away from me, I should say. Uh, which he might not be able to do. So do I go... We... This... I should go this way, basically. Pretty much at this point. But if we fail, it puts us in a really bad position because he's going to go down here. So I'm going to try and make this work. Okay, we get it. We failed the first dodge, got the second one thanks to the reroll, but that means I can now dodge out here on a 3+, plus, which surprisingly actually worked. And that means I can stay in the way there and get a block tackle player next to him. Yeah, so that works. And they are going to stay where they are. Yeah, okay. Let's see what he does with this. Oh, I see. So, um, in regards to Blood Bowl, most teams have a so-called big guy. So, it's a player that is stronger than the other players usually, but comes with some negative problems. So, in terms of the Lizardmen, they have three players. They have the Skinks, which are fast and agile, um, but not very... Okay, that's his IC. That's his tackle guy, so that works. They're squishy, but fast, and don't have a lot of strength. S strength 3 is the average value, so they're below strength. Then they have the Saurai, which are very bad agility-wise, but they have above average strength, so they're good for bashing. And they're also very sturdy with their armor value 9, and pretty okay in terms of speed. And then with the big guy, you have a strength 5 player, but he has the loner skill, which means you've seen me use rerolls before. When I failed a roll here... A reroll uh, allows me to reroll it, so I've got he's got three rerolls right now. I've got two remaining for the half. If a player with a loner is forced to use a reroll, you roll on loner first, and on a four plus, the loner uh, eats up the reroll, but doesn't actually gets to use the reroll. So the first result stands, but the, you still lose the reroll. So that's the issue that all big guys, well, except for one or two exceptions, have. And they also have a second trait, which he rolled on the first turn here, um, which in his case is uh, Bonehead, I believe it's called. Yeah, it, for him it's Bonehead. So every time he takes an action, he needs to roll a dice, and on a roll of a 1 on uh, a 6 sided that dice, so he has a 1 in 6 chance. This guy doesn't get to do anything, and he loses all of his tackle zones, which means he can just move away from him. Luckily, we keep standing there. Um, so they usually are pretty decent. Um, because they're high strength and they're, um, they've got some good stuff as well, like his prehensile tail, which makes it harder to dodge away from him. But they also come with some issues, because they have loner and they usually have a skill like bonehead. There's three skills in total. There's bonehead, really hungry, and then there is, um, wild animal, which do stuff there. So, he is in here, but he's going for risky one-die plays, which is interesting. So can we get this guy this round? I'm not sure. We might be able to. If I can get an assist, we... Well, if I can get two assists, we can make that a two die. Because right now, this would already be a blitz against him. It's not necessarily a good one, though. But it, I don't think it'll get much better than that, unfortunately. So this is a one die already. We can make that a two die. So he's just gonna stand up. Unfortunately, these guys will remain where they are, or aren't they? If I dodge him out first, so we've got a 3 plus. No, we can't get it to be two assists, I think. 
So we are just going to try... What do you mean with rank? Punk, exactly. In this case, so yeah, we need to go for this first, see how that works out before I decide on anything else. Okay, we don't knock him down. That's what this says, and he's gonna sidestep somewhere over to here, I think. Probably down there. He shouldn't go anywhere here, of course. But he's not choosing right now, which... What's going on? Really? Up there? Weird, but okay. It still means we don't get him, which is the bad thing about this. This is a two die already, but now we can... Try to make something work, maybe. But I still need to be careful about this. Let's see, we do this, which is our two die block, which only pushes, but that's okay. Uh, it still allows me to disengage there. So we've got him. We also do have our agility five guys. That we could try and use. If we only push him, he's going to push himself into the position where I can't easily get to him anymore, I think, so... We... Now we block you first, because that could be a pow. No, it's turnover, because he has block, I do not. Thank you, game. So lovely of you. My god, my dice rolls are so bad today. And now we can possibly move through here. He's not done yet, or he's not through yet. We still have a pretty okay shot here, but we're gonna get blocked so much. Unfortunately which will turn into a problem very, very quickly. If I'm not careful. So... Let's see. What do you do? He gets me there again. Oh, I see. He blitzed from there. He knocked me down. So he's trying to shut me out there. That's what this looks like right now. Because he's going to go over on the... On this side, basically. He can dodge away here. Hopefully he'll he'll mess up his dodge, but it's a 2 plus with a build and reroll, so it's pretty unlikely. And the guy we really would need for him there is right over here, because he got knocked down. So he also got knocked down. So he's shutting us out. This would also be the next one. He's playing a good game with this already. My god. Oh, I see. You mean ranked, basically. Not... Uh, I, see, I see what you mean with rank now, basically. Uh, well, more or less. So the thing is, this entire game is based around team value of teams. So a starting team has a team value of 1,000. The way this game is built... You can find, uh, you can get matched against opponents that have a team value of up to 500 different from yours. Um, so you can get matched against teams of um, up to, yeah, plus one, uh, plus, if I had a 1,000 team, 1,500 would be the max, basically. So there is a chance you can get maxed, uh, match at a team that is a little bit higher. My god, really? Pow. He's gonna get an armor break as well, so that I can't attack him there, isn't he? No, wow. No, well... Diving Tackle and Prehensile Tail still basically locks this down. Oh my god, why am I so bad? I don't get it, what I'm doing today. Yeah, this also works. I'm just completely out of it today, guys, sorry. I'm not playing a good game at all, and then he keeps getting all the dice rolls that he needs to annoy me even further, which makes me just get madder and madder, and I'm not playing a good game. There's also different leagues, Punk. So, right now I'm playing in the Cablevision uh, cable Open League, which is basically the normal league. Because you have you have too many turns, you have... Um, you can concede to your opponents if you don't want to play them. I, I don't do that, by the way, but I could. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically the standard league. Then you have... Um, uh, the teams here are eternal, but you need to you need to create the teams there or have played the team in the champion ladder first to be able to do that. Yeah, wow, really? He locks me completely out of this. 
I'm so mad. I'm playing such a bad game. I'm so distracted for some reason and nothing is working. <sighs> I right now really don't know what to do. That's extremely bad. Because he's doing an exceptional job at shutting me out of this. And I'm letting him do that and I just don't get... We, we got four dice blocks. Oh my god, I can't talk. Four dice rolls on his, on his guy here, on his ball carrier. We didn't get anything. We didn't get a both down. We didn't get a defender stumbled, which wouldn't have worked, but even that would have been nice. No, you're not distracting. Distra oh my God, Dis distracting me, uh, punk. It's fine. I'm. I. I. I can talk and do this, but something's just wrong today, and I don't quite understand what. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, he has a guy there as well. Oh, damn it. So this is a one die, which means if we get him over there, we can get this to be a two die. Let's see. And then stuff like this happens, so I don't knock him down, because why would we? That would be too easy now, wouldn't it? Um, I'm gonna stay. Because that way I can dodge these guy, this guy out. Thank you, so we still have him right there. I see, good, good, good. That works somewhat. We can put you right there. He's just going to stand up. So he cannot score yet, which means we still have a chance right now to... Uh, to, to prevent him from scoring, but man, am I playing a bad game right now? We probably also should just pull him back. <sighs> Let me think. I'm risking the one die here to give myself a little bit of breathing room. Which will work. I just need to calm down again and go at it. I, I think I did a good job here. I, I took a moment to relax and then I played a good turn. And it worked out. He's still going to try and shut me out, which he might or might not be able to. Now he only pushes us, so this is good. <sighs> yeah, I know, punk. It's the, it's the downward spiral. Usually I'm very good at, at getting back into things, but after the first match, which already went kind of crappy um, because of poor plays on my half, uh, behalf, now me getting... Now I'm more mad at the game and that myself, basically, because we rolled the one here on the GFI. I had a clear shot at his ball carrier. It didn't work. We got a turnover up here because of a bad block and that's just not me necessarily making bad plays that's the game denying me to get what I need basically to make this work and then he had one turn where he knocked everything down on my side as well and that's just that's where where I start to get annoyed at the game and not necessarily at anything else and that's just bad but for now I'm okay basically he only stunned us there which is fine we still have a chance I can wizard this if I lose this now, we lose this again. If it needs to happen sooner rather than later, I guess. But, I mean, we're still very early. But with this horrible kickoff event for him in the beginning, there really should have been a better chance for me to, to build on this. And there just wasn't one. And it's just unfortunate and annoying. And now we're gonna, we, we'll have to try and... Make it work regardless, somehow we can. I do still have a wizard, um, but with our luck, we're gonna roll a one on the on the lightning bolt now, assuming I get the lightning, I use the lightning bolt. We're gonna have to wait and see about that. I'm not quite sure yet. The diving tackle here is an issue, of course. We'll see, we'll see. But right now, I'm just trying to get some sort of control back and with me having issues with Lizardman to begin with 
it's still not easy. So I'm not sure if I even should use the wizard here to try and keep him from scoring because it might just delay the inevitable and then the wizard will be gone Well, I might need it on the second half instead. And he is moving these guys in more and more um, to try and shut me out again to keep me from moving. So we're gonna have to wait and see. Yep, and that's the one I was waiting for. Is he really gonna do that? And he hasn't been forced to use a reroll yet. He's got sidestep. Bad. He's trying to dodge past this. Please fail. Thank you. He will get to reroll it, though, if he wants to. No, he rolled a double one there. Okay, good. One, two, four. It's five. I think I need to try, unfortunately. So, yeah. Let's see if we fail this. We don't. Injury? Hail. Better than nothing. So he's off the pitch. At least for now. Scatter also puts the ball closer towards us, which is exactly what we need. And let's see if we can spin this into... If we can spin this one into a touchdown for me right now. Our main issue is that I can't get that many players over there. Which is a pretty big problem and blitzing him is going to be an issue as well in that case. But I think we still need to go in like this and just assume that we're going to get the knockdown. Which we do get. Thank you very much game. I really appreciate it. Let's see where he ends up going. Okay, over there we follow. No armor breaks, so... I also think he needs to go pick up the ball, because he is the one that is most likely to keep it and not lose it, if we... If we have it. And now... Let's see. It needs to be right there. We use the dodge guy first. Because that needs to happen. <gasps> Let's see. We go all the way over to there. It's a bit better. Let's see if we dodge first. We do. So if I go here, we get the assist. But being over here would be safer for us, defensively thinking. So I'm risking the GFI to get this block. Which allows us to hopefully knock him down. No, we obviously only push him. Um, because that needs to happen. And then... So we do this, and we fail instantly because I can't get... Oh no, he has tackle there. No, we don't reroll this. Okay, we stun ourselves. Still okay, I guess. It's gotta be better than anything else. Well, I'm not really... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm still not happy with this, but at least we've got the ball secured for now, I think. But I really would like to have a scoring threat while simultaneously keep this guy from moving. So he's gonna block us over here first. And get a stun. But we do have a chance now. I think it's likely that he's going to put the Crocs on him. So right now I don't really have a way of getting away from him because he can pull at least one of his Sawrai back, set up a defense. I'm pretty pretty scattered and I will be forced to dodge against diving tackle players, which make dodging harder by two, by the way. So if I were to dodge by on a two plus, a diving tackle player that's standing makes it so that I have to four plus, just um, that you understand why I'm concerned about that skill, basically. Um... And he has it on almost all of his skinks. That's the problem right now. So getting past them is a bit of an issue. And I need to try and run away with this somehow. Which will be difficult with all of this going on. Oh yeah, I see. Good move. Real good move. He's chain pushing his diving tackle guy next to me. 
so that I'm forced to diving tackle right away. At least that's what I assume he's going to go for. He isn't. Interesting. Why wouldn't he? Instead, he stuns my Agility 5 player, which does not help to elevate my mood. And then he has block, I do not, so I go down. How about a double skulls, though, sometimes? Oh, boy. Mm hmm That's basically gotta be okay right now. He's going to push us there. That he is stunned is just real unfortunate. Really? Wow, okay, he risks the reroll, or he goes for the reroll to knock me down there. Um, I mean, yeah, he's too. He, he can afford to. He had three rerolls left with three turns remaining, so. Fairly likely to happen. I basically have only one play here to make, and he's aware of that. But he's also going to try and lock me out of it. He's going to dodge with him. And base me, yeah. And that's where all of our issues start. Because without that... We could be looking at an okay point. The issue is, a player that blitzes can't pass. Which means, if I blitz here and move him up... He needs to throw a pass, but getting that up there with now being next to a diving tackle player is basically not very possible. So instead, he's just gonna stand up. Right now, all I really need to do is try and prevent him from scoring on me. Because this is his offense, so I don't need to score now, which means I should not be greedy. We should try to play this slow, methodical, get some freaking armor breaks against armor value 7 players, because why are they there when you don't get that? Man, this is the tackle guy as well, so I need to stay out of his reach. Which means I need to go all the way down to there, which is annoying, but unfortunately needs to happen. And then we go back... <laughs> To try and make this work. Because all I need to do now is prevent him from scoring for two more turns while simultaneously being annoying and in his way. So we do this because even if he blocks now with him, this guy would need to dodge past us. He does have break tackle, yes, but it still makes it harder for him to reach us. So we've got that going for us, which is good. And then we do try and dodge him up here, though. Uh, because we do have him as a scoring threat then, and he's got agility 5, so he's a pretty decent receiver as well. And then we fail the dodge there, that was a 3+, plus. rolled a 2, we're not gonna reroll that. We are KOing ourselves, perfect. Isn't that lovely? So, we already have two KO players, he's got one, which isn't good enough, unfortunately, but we'll see. I do have two babes, and I do have two apothecaries. Ah, oh, come on, really? I mean, it makes sense. It's a good move. I'm just not happy that he made that one because it makes it less likely that I'm going to be able to score. We do have Elf Scream here as well that I might be able to use because he's going real heavy on this. Uh, but I think he's also going to mark these. Yeah, there we go. And my only tackle player is the guy currently in possession of the ball, which will make it difficult to knock down the skinks here and give myself... Better shot at moving here. Let's see, there's the knockdown we were expecting. I think what we're likely to see is him blitzing this guy and then still moving down here. That feels pretty likely right now. But let's see, the diving tacklers can get where they need to be, I think. He can't get one up there, but this is already a 3+, plus because of Prancel Tail. Might still be doable, though. Oh, okay, he blitzes there instead. Yeah, it's a little bit easier. Only pushes me for a change, thank you. That's nice. So at least we keep that. He also needs to get a skink in there, though. Yeah, there we go. That's the skink we're gonna see. 
high. Which means I once again can't pass this turn. Which is annoying. So now I either have to risk the dodge, which will be 4 plus against him. But I do have a dodge reroll, so I will get to... I will get to use my reroll. What he could be doing also is yeah, dodge past here and put himself right there. Which would mean we don't have a dodge reroll. Yep, there we go. That's break tackle. And now comes the two GFIs. One, two. I think he's going to do those. Seems pretty likely right now. Maybe he's just okay with staying in there? He's thinking about it, basically. Right now it's... Yeah, okay, he didn't do it. Okay, interesting. Unexpected, a little bit at least. So I'm still not sure how to redo this. We probably do this. These guys just stand up. Uh, he's also just going to stand up. Uh, same as him. Here is where the issues start again, because we need to make this blitz work yet again. We do. We've got tackle, so he goes down. But he's going to push himself right there. He needs to. Because that's the only place he can go where he would force me to dodge, so he doesn't do it. Interesting. We once again don't get through the stunty armor, so that's unfortunate. And then we go all the way over to here. So right now we're just running away again. But in the best way possible, basically. Now. I'm going to go here just to keep this guy from moving too much. We probably also want to risk this just to lock him down a little bit. He might be dodging us. He could serve me here, of course. That's what it could be the downside of this. But I still think we need to do that. So right now he is in scoring range, but he's going to push me out of it. The question is, do I do this one or this one? We do this one first. We got to keep moving, basically. Can I? I can get away, all the way away from his crocs, I think. Or mostly, at least. Let's see. We need to go as far away from him as possible. We both have movement six, so if he wants to, he can get me. But I need to do one GFI, basically, now to get away from him completely while staying as close as possible. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go here in case he blitzes me and pushes me one down. I still need to be in, in scoring range. And then we do one GFI, which obviously means we get lose our last reroll because I still think I'm going to do that one. And I roll another freaking double one. Oh, I'm actually so mad at this. It's so bad. Yeah, we want you back. I've got two apples. One needs to be okay, so I can't score. What's up today? I'm just not... I'm not enjoying this any longer at all. I'm just frustrated at this point that... I mean, we're most likely going to prevent him from scoring now. I mean, the biggest insult would now be, obviously, him actually being able to... To still score here, even though I invested a wizard and all of this, basically. I don't know, but man, I am, I'm sorry for my mood today. It's I don't like being this way. Oh god, thank you. He finally got a bad roll here. So is he knocking me down? No, he's surfing me. He's accepting that he most like he can't he can't uh, score now, so he's instead surfing me. But I put this guy there, so I that's. The risk I had to accept there, basically. Double sc skulls again? Nope. Gets us out. So let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, basically, punk. So you have to dodge when you're in an opponent's tackle zone. The opponent's tackle zones are every space around him, basically. So that's all of the tackle zones from this guy. Um, so for him, it would be these eight spaces, basically. And if you move out of an enemy's tackle zone, not into one, but out of one, you need to dodge. How difficult the dodge is, is um, modified by the amount of tackle zones you move into. So, for example, in if I were to go from here to there, we would dodge out of this tackle zone into this one. So the dodge roll would be, uh, inc would be one more, would be difficult by one, or increased in difficulty by one, basically. 
uh, and that gets um, changes more and more and more, pretty much. Uh, so still, once again, I'm so I, I you can I can blame myself because obviously I was the one doing the GFI there, just to point that out. This was not the game's fault, it's my own fault, I'm just mad at the game again that it felt the need to give me yet another double one. That's the fourth one today or so, not in this match, but overall, something like that. So I still can't score, he's also not going to score, so this is a bit of a stalemate. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just annoying, basically. It's It feels so unnecessary. But I might still be able to win this, but now I've got three KO players. We do have two babes, so hopefully they all come back. But we can't guarantee that, of course. And I went with a three die to give myself the best chance to knock him down, because the best way is still to go for the skinks. But I, I blitzed the skinks every time I could, and we just... No. I mean, I KO'd one, but that's it. I didn't get a single stun or armor break anymore. Not at all. But we're not done yet, so please, I can, can I, I can, I still have one more try with this one, basically, so we knock him down now. Which gives us a stun, so not good enough, and then we dodge out him to give ourselves a two-die block against the Saurus. Getting rid of a Saurus would be lovely, of course, but that is less likely to happen as well. So there we go. So right now, 0-0 zero, zero, halftime. I defended successfully. It cost us the wizard, though. We've got three KO players. His KO comes back, so that's horrible. And I've got two babes, and only one of my KO comes back. Sure. I can play with nine players against eleven on my offense. Why would I get an even amount of players when I have a two-plus dice roll here? That's too easy, isn't it? I don't want this anymore. I don't like this anymore. I'm actually... completely demotivated right now. I don't enjoy playing Blood Bowl today. I don't know what's going on. I still won't concede. I'll try my best to finish this. But I gotta be honest, I... I this is just annoying right now. It's... It's everything, basically. It's not that it's one thing, it's everything. And it's enough today right now that it just it's just frustrating to me. And... It is what it is. We're still gonna finish the match. We're still gonna do this. I'm gonna be able to hopefully win. We'll see. Because, I mean, even with me being mad at the game right now and completely n not enjoying this, I'm still going to try my best to make this work. I played it calmly. We managed to prevent him from scoring. That's all we needed there, really. And now all we really need is to try and get through here and f make him eat his own ball, basically. We just want to try and make this work. We can. It's doable. It's not necessarily going to be easy, but it's doable. So. How do we do it, though? That's the big question as well. So, right now. We probably want the Luna there. Oh, yeah, I do need somebody down here to pick up the ball first. So, it's probably Shock Elf in that case, since he's our Agility 5 guy. Um, so yeah, we have to accept this being bad right now, and let's see, we probably switch uh, these as well. Yeah, okay, so we've got all of these here, so we're giving up control over this side a little bit right now, unfortunately. Because I'm going to try to make a quick touchdown on this side work. Which could be a problem because his diving tackler is there, but this side I really didn't want to work with. I mean, he left this open for me on purpose, probably. Uh, I'm fairly sure about that, but maybe we can still make him regret that decision. So let's see what we're going to get here. <sighs> Very high kick is nice, and it's also in a position where we can work with that. You're going to catch it? Is. Let's see. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Punk, and see you later, maybe. I'm probably gonna be later, uh, back later tonight, maybe, with more Slay the Spire, but we'll see. Uh, in case you don't come back in time to see the conclusion of 
this match right now. So I'd really like to move through here aggressively. This guy is still an issue, but we might be able to deal with him. So let's think about these, because we... We're gonna blitz him. Am I gonna make that a three die? Or no? Yeah, we probably are. There we go. <laughs> he's learning English, he's trying to make him watch my stream with me. Uh, you, my, with him, my god, something like that. Okay, that's cool. So if you can get him to that, I mean, why not? I guess, okay, he can go up to here. Which means we need the safety net right there, I think. Oh, there's better. We blitz him. Let's see, the main issue is I'm putting myself in a really rough... Thank you, finally. In a little bit of a rough position, surf-wise, because we could get surfed out of this, but I finally injured something. So that's gonna be helpful, which means we are going to... Oh yeah, we get there. Oh boy, wait. There. We also need to dodge him out to here, I think. Well, apparently not. Oh, I cost myself one space there. So we do this. So I'm going completely on the one side, but it might still be worth it. If we do that. And I'm gonna try to make it work. We could have set this up a little bit more elegantly, I think. But let's just see if we can get this. Okay, so he's got the ball. He's also got sidesteps, so even if he is... And the thing is, is this guy. He's got wrestle, tackle, strip ball. Oh, no, strip ball, break, tackle. So he could be dodging in here. But that's three tackle zones right now for him. Which would make it a five plus. And he can't serve me. As long as he can't cover all of these spaces. Because I am sidestepping. So I can just run this in next round. Hopefully. Ideally, I'd like to get the touchdown with Alphamus Prime 3.0 here to get him the level up, but we might not be able to, to get that. So he could instead just try to uh, blitz here and keep, lock me down that way. But we've got the Agility 5 player here with Catch on Nerves of Steel. Um, so we've got more than one ways to make this work, possibly, right now. Oh, he is actually... Is he trying to dodge in there? Is he going to do that? He is. Interesting. So he is go he's most likely going to try and get a surf set up here, but he can't. He might still try to blitz in there, though, to force me to go back. Yeah, but that is a 5+, plus, isn't it? Oh, there comes the Crocs. We'll see. We'll see. With this. <sighs> he decides to go for this one instead. Gets the knockdown, of course. We do want to use sidestep. And go up to here. Yeah, hopefully he won't get an armor break. Okay, good. That's going to be fairly helpful. So right now our main issue is still this guy, obviously, being able to stand in our way. He doesn't have diving tackle, though. He's only got sidestep. This guy has... No, wait, does he have diving tackle? He doesn't have. He doesn't have diving tackle either. But he's just in the way right now, basically. Interesting choice. And the Crocs moves. Please fall down. Nope. Yeah, this is just bad again because now he's completely locked me in there. 
It's possibly still doable. Yeah, I I should have kept the player over here. But we really couldn't do that at that point. Let's see. If we can If we can get a defender down here, we might have a chance. But he would also still get the ball on a 2+. plus. And then it's a 3+. plus. This is a 4+, plus dodge, without a built-in reroll. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> so we try this, I think. I could get surfed. The wrestle really doesn't help, does it? No. So he's sidestepping back to here, probably. So... That obviously gives us some issues right now. Let's see about this. I do still have an option here, but... It's not the best one in the book, and we do require a knockdown here. Seriously? See, this is this is what I mean. It's so unbelievably annoying, and now I'm gonna fail my dodges here, because we need to go back now to not die here. See? I'm just so mad. It's not okay anymore. Why? Am I really just playing so bad today or is the game just trying to screw with me right now? I actually don't know. We also just lost our most important player here. And he's going to serve Jet Elf now. So we're going to lose our second most important player now. Yeah, push him to there, push him out. Bye-bye. No, really? Well, he can still do that and have it be safer, I guess. Yeah, also works. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. It's... I'm not sure what's going on today, but I'm not playing a good game. We still have a chance here, of course. It's never over until it's over, but just looking at things, we were two players down because only one of my three KO comes back because my babes fail and we roll two ones there. We get two KOs now. At least he gets double skulls, I guess. So there's that, but then he also he also doesn't place down here. Of course it goes up there. I mean, I needed to do this still because otherwise he still could have picked it up. So it still would have was an okay chance to. I don't know anymore. I really don't. And there's just nothing tactically wise that I can be talking about because he's got higher strength, he's got the player advantage, so blocking is not an option here to try and get this. All we can be hoping for is that he rolls a 1 now and scatters outside because he had already used the reroll. But what am I thinking? It's not gonna happen. So now he can just keep himself safe and shut me out and win this game. So I think we're pretty screwed right now. I've got no way of getting to him in a in a good way. He's got 11 players. I'm down to 7 at this point. No, he's actually at... We injured 1, didn't we? Yeah, so he's at 10. So he's got a 3-player advantage. It's still good enough with our team value difference on top of everything that I am just in a lot of trouble here. This is not good. And that was one of my last ideas that I've had. Block him to there, try to serve him out, maybe. Uh, it would have been a one die as well, though. But then he also just keeps getting POWs against us. My god. I've got nothing to say about this anymore. But I do think I will have to pull some consequences for this in concerning Blood Bowl one way or another. I'm gonna have to think about some things, that's for sure. Because I definitely do not enjoy this anymore right now. 
And I'm not sure if that's a daily thing or if it's something that is going to have some, some bigger consequences for my Blood Bowl career right now. And I'm going to take a little bit of a break for a while because I tend to get tilted more and more in the last few weeks and I realize that. And get annoyed at the game more and more in the last few weeks and that's not something that I appreciate in myself. So I think actually taking a bit of break from Blood Bowl for a while might be for the better. Not that I really want to. I mean, it's still a good game. I like it a lot, but man, this is just all so aggravating right now. And I just don't know what to do here. I mean, this is probably our best way to play this. And still just try to go after the skinks and make something happen, but we just can't get armor breaks. I needed an 8. We rolled a 7. Yay. That's so good. And since we can't pressure him, we need to try and slow down his offense. Which means... Going after this. I still would like to do this, though. So this right now is a one die, unfortunately. Let's see if we make this dodge to begin with. We do, so... I still want the sidestepper there, even though it's unlikely to do anything. It's probably the best way of handling this, and then you go to here. Which will make this a two die if we make it there, but I can't get a freaking three plus dodge roll work. And I'm not willing to go down to one reroll yet. So there we go. Yeah, it's, it's so bad. I'm not sure what's going on right now. I really, I, I can't, I can't dis differentiate anymore if, if it's me playing super bad this game or if it's actually the game screwing me over with bad dice rolls. Sometimes I can figure that out and usually I, we have, I've got some sort of measure to figure it out, but today I just don't. And I, we, we struggle so much and then I feel like I'm getting some good stuff going again and all of a sudden I roll a double one or we can't roll a three when we need to and then it's horrible again. Ah, and I just don't understand. And it's frustrating me right now and it's the degree to which it is frustrating me is, is increasing quite a bit. Hey Brush Stone. Thank you. So you think it's the game today? I hope so. I hope that if I haven't unlearned how to play Blood Bowl, but man, I've never felt this frustrated with the game, at least in a very long time, and it's just, it makes me hate this so much right now. I just don't enjoy this. Especially with this team. It's my best team. It's the team I enjoy playing the most, so it's even worse that we get the result with, with these guys right now. And I just don't know what to think anymore. And it's it's weird. But Oh yeah, he needed to do that, of course. But we're still gonna try. I still have my, my sense of pride here, and we do wanna try and not lose two matches in a row. I've made it 30 plus matches with only one loss, and now I don't want to lose twice in a row. That is not going to happen. Even though I'm so mad and completely demotivated right now, we're gonna keep trying our best. But still, this is just meh. If he were to roll a double one now, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, if I can roll a bunch of those, why can't he? So how about that, Nuffle? You in this? You listening to me? Is my saltiness not enough? Does that not appease you? Please? Pretty please? I'm asking nicely here. Let's just see what happens. Okay, he just dodges away. I mean, what were we thinking? He's also just gonna go there, I think. Well, no. Where does he go? Yeah, he goes there. Where does he go? Oh, that's a diving tackler, so that's why he feels safe. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, he's gonna do another one. Mm -hmm. And they work for him, because why wouldn't they? So, this guy has agility 5, so he still had a chance to reach him. But now, obviously, with him doing two GFIs, 
We can't. And then he also does this to shut me out. Yeah, he's he's playing a really strong game. That's the issue on top of everything. It's not that he's playing a bad game and I'm losing because of that uh, or despite that. It's he's playing a good game and we're losing. Because he is just shutting me out completely here. I mean, this is not going to work. It's a 6 plus dodge. And we can't reach him anymore with this. I mean, I could try this. It's probably our last way of... Of trying to prevent him from doing anything. Oh, no, why? Why? Oh, thank you. I completely missed the dodge there, but yeah. Because one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten could have also worked. Maybe should have done that, but now we would need to dodge him again to do that, which I'm not willing to do. <sighs> so let me think. I'm still gonna do this first because. The two pluses are pretty doable. And I'm even gonna... Now we're gonna keep it like this. And now we're gonna do this. Four plus, three plus, two plus, into the blitz. I mean, it's a 50% chance for the first one, but I feel like I fail them all the time. We can't. It's not working. I mean, this was horrible yet again, but my god. Yeah, we lose. I'm sorry, guys. I... I am really am. <sighs> so. Now he can just stay all the way back there, and even with these guys, I can't reach him. Yeah. This is basically over, unfortunately. As much as I hate to admit it. But this is just a little bit frustrating. Overall, so once again, we can't really talk tactics here and he can just, yeah, try to make the most out of this now. He doesn't need to blitz anyways in any way, shape or form. So he can try to make the situation better for himself while using his mighty blow player, of course. He can't reach him. He can't reach him. We can't, we can only base him, but I can't even lock him down so maybe his best bet would have been bl blocking him because we can still go here and be in the way but he will just put himself in my way and force me to do really difficult dodges again which is part of the problem so i i recognize all of the issues that we have here and i, I know exactly why i'm losing but i just can't figure out if it came to this situation because i played a ba bad game or if the dice started to screw me instantly. I I don't know. I mean, we did roll a double one here instantly, which was kind of bad in the first turn already. But he got the horrible pitch invasion right away. Which basically, possibly, I think, made allowed me to, to not get scored on in the first half. But we're still gonna get that now. I don't think... I need, ex I need extraordinary luck now to, to not lose this. Which I doubt we'll be able to get. But who knows? You never know. He's going to take the both down. Yep. He doesn't want the, the, the sidestep fend to do something here. Oh, wow. Really? He's only pushing once? Don't I feel blessed. Mm. Yeah, so all of this is horrible. None of this is good. We're gonna have to try to make it work regardless. Please, no pow. Of course he gets the pow. Why wouldn't he get the pow? Just push me, why don't you? Please. Yeah, it's over. I needed him up, uh, standing upright for, for that to do anything. So even blitzing won't really help us anymore. So all we really can do is this, pretty much. Which will instantly fail again, because why would I be able to do something with a dodge reroll? Just a 2 plus dodge. It's another double one! Not okay. It's so 
so bad. I'm sorry for the poor performance today. I really am. It's I, I don't like this at all. So is he gonna stall now or is he gonna score instantly? I can see it going both ways. Yeah, he's gonna stall this. Okay, he wants a secure win. It's it's I can agree with that. Um, in his position, I might have scored again, but he doesn't want to risk me getting all of these guys back and tying the game. So 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 stalling here to keep me from 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 to keep me from scoring on him and tying the game up again is the right call. So he's definitely going to win now because let's face it, I have what. Um, Six players left, four of which are knocked down right now. Yeah, this is so bad. Hey, he gets doesn't get to knock me down yet again. Hooray, isn't that lovely? So he blocks us again. Yes, I could have stood these guys up first, but I only wanted to dodge them. And dodging them we couldn't risk without... Losing our reroll, which we needed for the risky thing, which is why I did the risky thing first, and then the risky thing instantly failed with a double one. Well, we got the four plus dodge. But, yeah, it just didn't work out. The only upside here is at least his guy keeps rolling boneheads, I guess, but it's not enough, luckily. Gonna both down again because he's got a block, a block crocs. Um, so that's the third time this guy would have missed his thing if he hadn't rolled a four on the pro now and now he's gonna foul us as well isn't he oh no please don't please don't destroy our team now on top of everything i mean if it happens it happens but i really hope he doesn't it's a stun so better than some worse than others <sighs> Well, let's see, I've got... He's got three turns left. I've got three turns left now. I really can't... If, if I'm Even if I'm able to get close, it's just going to lead to him uh, scoring without me having enough time to, to change anything about that. So I don't think this is really going to change much. I could try to do this weird 4-plus dodge. So yeah, we stand up. We do this. But I can't do a 4 plus dodge for my life right now. It, I even had a reroll again. Would have been a 2 die. We knock him down. We move a little bit closer with the guy that could actually do something there. Not that we were likely to knock him down because he had block dodge and we don't have tackle. But that was the idea and probably the best thing we could have done here. Because this would have been a 4 plus dodge without reroll in there and a tackle. Really? Ah, oh, it's the loan. It's the loner. Who cares? But yeah, this is just... A 4 plus dodge with a reroll is a 75% chance to make that. And I have not been able to, to get a 4 plus dodge with a built in reroll once today, I believe. Maybe once, but that's about it. And he can just wreck us now. It's. It's just not fun anymore. And I don't. I can't do anything anymore. I'm just a spectator at this point. And that's what I hate the most about Blood Bowl sometimes. Is when you get matches like these now where you are. It, it doesn't matter what you do, you basically just watch your opponent. On the first half, we still had a chance. Even then, I would have needed a little bit better dice to try and score against him, but at least I managed to stall to, to keep him from scoring, thanks to the wizard. But now, this is just... This is just sad. The upside, we didn't lose a player so far. I mean, it can still happen because it's going to keep fouling, that's for sure. So I keep doing this. Obviously, we don't get a pow. Is that the tackle guy? No. Okay, we follow. Dodge. I mean, I do still have to try and threaten him somewhat. We also do need to do both GFIs to go close enough. And then we fail the second one again, because why wouldn't I? And that's our turn. Yeah, that was a horrible game. That was a horrible game. He's going to stall this again. He played a really good game. He played an extremely solid game. And on top of me making mistakes, it just it didn't work. It's fine. 
I mean, it really isn't. I'm mad. I'm so mad at the game and myself that I managed to play this team so well for such a long time and lose against a good Chaos Dwarf team. And now I, I lose twice in a row here against the Dark Elves there and then also these guys here. It's... Uh, I mean, it happens, of course, but I just... I have, I have higher standards usually and I just can't... I can't do anything. I mean, it's the last thing I get to do, so let's see if I fail one more GFI. We don't, but then we fail this, so who cares? Yeah, sure, you try that. Oh, last-ditch effort. I could have actually blitzed him. I could have actually blitzed him, and now he would have gotten there too. Are you serious? So, on the upside, he needs to get rid of me now. Can I actually still save this into a tie? Can we actually still save this into a freaking tie? I mean, now he just needs to dodge. It's a 2 plus dodge for him to score. I'm not gonna let him just get away there. If I had been here, he would have surfed me, I think. Or tried to, at least. But yeah, we... He's not sure if he wants to blitz me or not. <laughs> We're actually making this a little bit more difficult for him again. Which is something, I guess. There we go. No worries, punk, and welcome back. So let's see, this... Oh, I see what he's going for. It's a smart idea. Oh yeah, I think that's going to work for him. Well, we'll see. He's not sure if he wants to actually push me. Yeah, we want to use dodge. We also want to use fend. He's still going to move in after us. No, I didn't win the last game. That was a loss. So he needs to... He's either going to block me and follow me in, which will allow him to score, or he's going to dodge. The dodge is the safer option. Come on, roll a double one. Nope. So he won. There we go. So we won. We lost two in a row now. That's so bad. Oh, well. It is what it is. I basically have to be okay with it. It doesn't change the fact they tried in the end and we just couldn't quite make it work, but still, yeah. Not my best opponent. Really? He gets the MVP again? We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it at that. I'm... I'm just a bit down on the game right now. Let's see. So. I've got a little bit of money to spend, which means I will buy another player, but I need to look up a name first for him so that we can get back up to 13 players. Uh, but yeah, now, I mean, this is still a really good statistic, so I really have no reason to to be that sh uh, to be ashamed about anything here, I think. But I'm just, I, I know I shouldn't have lost this one. Um... It, like the previous one, the tie would have been the least we could have been able to do. It doesn't change the fact that we didn't happen, so now we've got the three losses, but overall our statistic is still pretty okay. It is what it is.